Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. I've been quite busy doing some some things um, and I have been looking for a time which I can come on Facebook and do a live stream. Um, I Because I have to use my phone to edit some of few things. Uh, there's something that I want to speak to you people about, which I made as an observation, and then someone called me to talk about it as well. Um, somebody who uh, can know the insides of what is going on in Zambia. Uh, the Bible tells us in Psalm 121 verse 1, I'm waiting for people to come. 121 verse 1 to 2, I will lift up. I will lift my eyes to the hills from where uh, comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Okay, good morning. Okay, I haven't been live in a long time. But this is a very important topic that we need to share and discuss. Okay, so um, for some time now, I've seen a growing trend. And uh, before I speak about that growing trend, I... I had expressed a few months ago that they there is something that is happening in Zambia. And I remember people laughed at me. They were like, oh, yeah, you're just talking. Where did these people come from? And I said, look, life is spiritual. And, and people, um, they always tend to laugh and mock on social media. Okay. Um, so I've seen a growing trend in Zambia where you find a young man, uh, Apparently, they've analyzed themselves, and then there's a bottle of doom there, and people say, oh, this one did this, this to, to themselves. So many of the guys. Now, some of them, what I do is I go to their Facebook page. I stalk them. I check. So one particular guy, I was checking his Facebook. I will, I will share. I'm going to do a separate video about it, about him. I was checking his Facebook. And he only got married like about three years ago. Uh, he is very content. He's a happy guy. Why would he do this? Then I began praying about it. I said, God, what is this? And I remember when somebody sent me that story. I said, look, have you seen what this guy has done? Immediately. My spirit said, no, this person didn't do this to himself. And then she was like, but why aren't you concerned? I said, I don't think this guy did this. There's something going on in Zambia where they are trying to pretend that people are doing this. Because you're not going to question when you see a bottle of doom. You're not going to ask questions. You, just, you conclude. And in Zambia where people don't even do autopsy. Like, like it's, it's not a must to do it. You know. It's either you do it or not. And some families say no no no. We don't want our family member uh, to be uh, cut in pieces. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We found uh, this. Do you think it's normal. That we are finding young men. Especially. And alive. And claiming they SUI star I C I D E because I can't say that word on Facebook. Facebook doesn't allow that word. Do you think it's like it's 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 right for us to conclude that this is what this person has done? This is a ritual that is going on in Zambia. There was a time when people were being gassed and it was happening all over and this one will blame this one, the other one will blame this one. Now in this era, because if, if people are just dying like that, you start questioning to say what is happening. So the best thing is to buy a bottle of doom Empty it on the side and say this person did this. To be fair, 
all the young men that I have seen in that situation had their Facebook pages thriving with happy moments, joyous moments. These were people who were living their lives. Why would they do that? Now, you see, the last time I went on Dr. Never Sumumba when he was going, he was carrying a bag and saying, Ichola Tata. And I made this comment. I said, sir, you would have been bigger than Jerry Eze. You see, when God has given you an, a mandate for the nation, you shouldn't be too hungry for money. You shouldn't be too hungry for, I want to be given this position for me to eat. You should be there to pray for the nation. Today we see someone like Pastor Jerry Eze, all over the world, making waves. Why? Because he would have been working with the UN. He was working with the United Nations. He even worked with the World Bank. But he gave up all that just to save Christ. And you know what God has done? God has made him to meet all these dignitaries. The problem with our pastors in Zambia is that they are not patient. They want to make it now. They want everybody to know them now. Dr. Nevers Mumba used to host events. Zambia shall be saved. That time, Tete, he was even bigger than T.D. Jakes. Meaning today, he would have been bigger than T.D. Jakes. I've used him as an example because... I want you to understand something. Some of the spiritual leaders that we have in our country have seen all the leaders, have buried all the leaders, have been to all the state funerals. They've been there. They've served this government. They've served that government. But from time in memorial, they failed to speak about spiritual things. They failed to intervene spiritually. They failed to talk because if they talk, they are scared. People are going to come after their church. Prophet T.B. Joshua would speak about things. Prophesy about things. People would mock him. He didn't know he, would, he only had to live up to 50. What if tomorrow you die? And God goes to ask you questions. You were on earth. You were supposed to do this, but you, all you were worried about is to how I'll travel to Congo Brazzaville, how I'll travel to this, how the president has invited me to state house, how I'm going to this, how I'm doing. You are more concerned about things, material things. You die tomorrow. You, there's nothing you go with. Nothing at all. I've never seen anybody going to the graveyard with his, his 20 bodyguards. The other day I saw Davido in church. He said he's gone for Thanksgiving. And he had all these bodyguards. And you know the first thing that came to my spirit was in heaven there will be no such things as bodyguards. Why would the spiritual leaders of our country be blinded by the so-called positions? Be blinded by the so-called associations with the top leadership. Uh, whoever is in power, they are there, this and that. You understand? And on this issue, they are quiet. Why wouldn't they be quiet if their spiritual eyes are closed? Do you think it's normal? That it's a 20-year-old, 24-year-old, 25-year-old, a 30-year-old man that has been found in this position. And we say, yeah, even if things are hard. This, and it's always men. Why? Power is sweet. And people can do anything to be in power. To remain in power. When I looked at the state funeral that we had for Madame Maureen Mwanawasa, I said to myself, at what point will everyone realize that we are all going to go that route? This is a powerful woman. Lifeless. I looked at Chipo Mwanawasa making a speech. I said, so this girl, she has attended two state funerals. So this girl, upon everything, you are now uh, uh, aid to the president, but still more, the pain still comes to you. You lose two parents. As 
for Maureen Monosa, may her soul rest in peace. She was only 60, bless her soul. Meaning we don't have time on this earth. Every moment she believed in a way that we keep preaching the gospel. Why should we live lives? Oh, it's all that. Today I'm here. Tomorrow I'm there. Tomorrow I'm there. While souls are perishing in Zambia. Did you see when Prophet Uber Angel came to Zambia? How many people were there? When was the last time our own pastors in Zambia held that type of event? When? When was the last time our own gospel artist held such type of event? Every day is ticket buy here, ticket buy here, ticket buy here. Why can they collaborate with the same big, 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 big bishops with the callers of Zambia and say, let's host an event. Zambia shall be saved. Let's preach. Let's do this. And uh -uh. it is a ticket sales tomorrow, ticket sales to the other day. All those Messichinos that you are inviting even to Zambia. Messichino does not perform at any event in Nigeria where they charge. In Nigeria, every event is free. Even here in UK, she comes, is free. We had her at the biggest arena in the UK, um, where we were, the stadium. Twickenham Stadium. How many years is Pastor Jerry doing ministry of online that he can even host an event? And somebody will say, no, Nigeria is the population. No, it's the consistency. Do you know how many governors go and meet that man? If you watch Sunday services, we even have MPs from Liberia, from different countries going to testify. He would have quit that and say, I'm going to get a position as governor. But he knows that time is not with him. He doesn't know his tomorrow. Yesterday he shared to say, for five years, I've never been on holiday. That is true. Yesterday was his birthday. He didn't even have a day off. He prayed in the morning. For those of you who don't know, we have NSPP prayers. He prayed in the morning. New season prophetic prayers. He prayed in the morning. Evening, 6 o'clock, he was in service again. What time between that morning? Because me who has been to Nigeria, I'll tell you this. Pastor Jerry Eze leaves the church around 1 o'clock, 1 p.m. He arrives there by 5.36. After he finishes NSPPD, when the cameras are off, he has meetings. After that meeting, he now goes to the office again, meet people. Then he leaves. Now, Tell me from 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 6 hours, which birthday party can you go to in 6 hours? You understand? The reason why Nigerian ministers are all over preachers is because they've understood their assignment. It's not about money. It's not about population. So even us, our cry, ukulila kwesu, as Zambians, is that our leaders should be more spiritual and be condemning certain things, but they are quiet. They, they don't even bring unity among themselves. When it was President Lungu was in power, none of the leaders talked about the Qatarism, they were quiet. And the same people who were dying with President Lungu are now dying with President Haka in the Ichilem. For what? For what? And then the young people that have been the ones who struggled for all these people to be in power, they don't even see even a bread. And then they'll be blinded with, oh, JJ is a criminal. JJ has done this. JJ is this. Hey, Tayari this. They'll be, they'll be now made to fight. Hey, Lilian is doing this, helping people go and insult her. They'll be insulting Lilian Motam. Chakoti chako. Chakoti chako. Whilst they are dining, Giving their family members diplomatic positions. Giving themselves mining licenses. Here would somebody posted, there's a hospital launch. Hospital launch is what you'd be excited about when more than how many people are jobless right now? How many people are going to eat a hospital? It's good to have a hospital. But how many people are going to work in that hospital? Many youths are suffering. Now there's a story of Mili Mew. 
A, in middle middle they are putting this substance and substance A, substance B. If we had people who are spiritual that see things, they would have seen these things before they happen. Where are the prophets of the nation that used to stand there and say, today, God is telling me, so, 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 is leader. So, 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 is leader. Where are they? People are even scared to speak about things because if they speak, they will silence them. Is it fair for young persons to be going the way they are going? And somebody will say, no, ah, hey, you know that guy, ah, he could he it's different from the other man I shared an audio where he said it himself. But for the others who are being found with the bottle, I, I, I don't think so. If you remember, there was that young driver. I said he went missing. We made noise on social media. Where is this guy? Where is this guy? He was found dead. After him, other young drivers too. Now, they, they stopped even reporting missing cases. But if I tell you, there's so many missing people, especially young men from Zambia, right now. They are missing. Why? Who is benefiting from their missing? Who is benefiting from their death? Life is spiritual. We should never joke around with spirituality. We should never joke around with the things of God. We should never even compromise. Good morning, Millie. We should never ever compromise. Where is this sudden growing trend that you'll find a young man lying down with a bottle of doom and say, hey, he drank doom. Yeah, too bad. Those people are being unalived by somebody. Because it's a sacrifice. And how does that sacrifice uh, benefit people? They know themselves. And nobody is talking about it. No one is sharing anything about it. The pastors are busy dining. They are busy dining. There is one prophet who said something about, I'm seeing this, I'm seeing this. I shared that video on my page. Now suddenly it's trending, I think it's almost a million views. And the person talked about there'll be like a, a lung disease or something like that. And now we've heard about the millimil, that there's something in the millimil. Who is planting all these things? For what? Why would somebody put a chemical substance, a poisonous substance, in millimil? For who? Who is going to benefit from this? You understand? Until we all realize that there is something happening. And trust me, 2026 will be one of the most dangerous times to even stand. If you are somebody who wants to stand for election 2026, you are, yeah, 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 yeah. People will go missing. Trust me. You are an MP. We've heard of these things in other countries. Hmm? Where we hear that, oh, so, 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 so. Uh, when to stand, they blocked. In Zambia, it will happen in 2026. They'll be blocking each other. What is this excitement about power? What is this power all about? And then, okay, now you are MP. And then what? As for the president, let's not even add him. Him is exempt. Leave the president out of this matter. It's these other ones who are excited about power. As for 2026, you want to stand as an independent MP <laughs> with the state machinery they have. Ay, ay, ay. Councillor, already, if, imagine if today JJ Banda, an MP, can be driven out of the country and he's somewhere in Mozambique, then know that you are not, you, you, you are not, you are playing with people who are very dangerous. 26 will be very very dangerous you think i even want to touch my nose there i will not even be anywhere there and he did stand in 26 for what for who who came in in a win 
it will be very dangerous. Trust me. Because preparations have already started. We are now in 2024. Two years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch and pray. <laughs> Watch and pray. If possible, don't even wear any t-shirt for I'm supporting just please. For the sake of your family, deny any regalia from any place, please. Before you find that all your family or house na ipia. Don't. It's going to be very, very dangerous and deadly. 2026. Me, I have people who call me. I'm not just ordinary people. Top. They will tell you, my sister. Hey, this is what is happening. I just so when I'm quiet and I'm talking about maybe Chile one, it doesn't look like it's it's not like I don't have anything to talk about. I'm just maintaining my lane. Because I know the type of things that are happening. I, I can give you data now so you'll be shocked that I know this and that. So some of you even believe that JJ Banda jumped through the window. Which window did JJ Banda jump through? The very same people that were claiming he's on the window helped him escape. Which window did he jump through? The day when JJ Banda went missing. That whole area has CCTV surveillance there. Are you aware that all that place, there is surveillance there? But on the day he was abducted, that whole place, the CCTV was off. <laughs> and you'll be there. I'm supporting who? Just to focus on prayer. And God will make a way for you. Today we even have a testimony of a young lady. How are you, Apostle Bernard Chilolo? Yesterday we uh, we we were, I posted on Facebook, I said, look, we have a, 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 a um, please contact uh, our sister Doreen, there's something we're doing for Pastor Jerry's birthday. And somebody has received 2,000 from somebody. Watch. So God can be trusted, like Prophet Malachi says, God can be trusted. If you are waiting <laughs> for, no, 2026, ah, just, yeah, <laughs> just stay away. <laughs> if possible, just travel to even Botswana. <laughs> I'm telling you, if, if you are a young person, you are youth, even go to Botswana, go and west, get your, remember when I told you, get your passport. Yeah. When I say get your passport, you should be listening to my messages. I say get your passport. Get your passport. Some places don't even go there. Hey, we're going. We need to pay our t-shirt. 2026. For me, I thought even 2021 would be bad. 2021 was okay. We managed. But 2026. Hey. Ikabako. Chirufia Tayali used to talk. He was still in Zambia. Chilufia Tayali is no longer in Zambia now. So don't joke with the people you, are joke. you think it's a joke. They'll be there. JJ Banda is not in the country now. The only person who talks is that chair lady. She lives in the UK. You people in Zambia cannot even talk. Pastors cannot even talk. Because now, they have been made to think, oh, you used to support, you had Christians for Lungu. So they are now silenced. We don't even have the Ministry of Religious Affairs. Uh, it's there. Because they cannot uh, disqualify it or cancel it unless it goes through Parliament. But we don't even have an M a Minister of Religious Affairs. Many young men are being recruited into the other side of life. By even people you know, celebrities, to survive. When they do yakumbuyo, that's the only way they can even survive now. But God can be trusted. You don't need to be desperate. I watched a video of a young man who was saying that they went to a party with celebrities, people you know. He was anonymous. 
And he said, what I saw there, I was shocked. They even introduced you. Tengako Muzunguyu. This person will be paying you. The next thing, I was HIV positive. The guy was explained that he was HIV positive. The next thing, the Muzungu started following him at home. Gave them 50,000 for their family, the children and wife to go out. So that they remain in the house doing it. As they went, they came back quickly, found them doing it. That's how the wife left him. Today the guy is nursing and is on air of his. As long as we the young people of Zambia are not thirsty for God, we are not hungry for God, there will be desperate measures. The other day I liked Siawan's post. He said, young women, it is my prayer that God blesses you so that you should not be desperate to go out with a, an elderly man or what, what, what. He posted the other day, I said, amen on their behalf. We see people now going for a married man now is the means of survival. Having one baby, one baby for a married man, at least the man will be sending me sponsorship. They are Having one child for a married man at least will help me for me to survive. You'll be sending rent for this child. As for some of these so-called uh, officials of wherever, they are even having wives in different provinces now. Ah, they are stars now. They are stars. People used to look dirty. Now they are stars. Some have even gained weight in Mikoshi. So I said, so all you people wanted was just to be in these positions. Mikoshi, so much. They are even failing to run. So why are we so bothered about these earthly things? Because we always feel, human beings, especially Africans, always feel that if they don't have those things, then they are not living. That's why I like the British system. You see, when you come to the UK here, if you like wear all your designer, you'll be the only one wearing that design on the road. They don't care. You can go to school to take the children to school. You'll be seeing the parent wearing the same t-shirt every day for three months. Every day. It's wash and wear now. You take it from the put it in the dryer and wear it again. Nobody cares here. Have you seen me doing Brazilian hair and all those things I'm doing? Just check even people who live in the UK. Nobody cares. Nobody cares here. And the way they've made the system is they've made sure there is council houses which are equal for everybody. So that if you, Kavumbi, is living in a house and Grace, you're living in a house, your houses are the same. It's up to you to, if you want to decorate it here and there. What, what, what. But you live in the same estate. The houses are the same. Salary bracket is the same. Nobody is, there's nothing like you are mwana who. You are mwana A, mwana B. Uh -uh. Same salary. If it's 12 pounds an hour, national minimum wage, that's what you get. The difference is the hours you work. And the government has even brought up, okay, so if Grace is struggling because she has four children or one child or two children, Grace will get top up. At the end of the day, uh, Bana, Cindy will be working more hours than Grace, but because Grace has children, the government will top up a little bit, and at the end of the day, they will still get the same money. That's why in this country, if you are rich, I open now. Eh? How? Where? Where? Because they make sure you are equal. And that's why I, I always get surprised when people want to compare the UK economy to Zambian economy. Yesterday I was celebrating my daughter. She's going to top school in UK here. To go and do performing as few, uh, TV and f uh, photography free. On top of that, they gave her her ID card. After that, they're even giving her a t bus ticket to travel free to go to school. Free. She can even apply for free lunch. Free. Ah, do we have free college in Zambia? We don't have. So before you start comparing about, hey, even in UK there's recession. There's recession, yes. But the tax pays money. It works for the people. In Zambia it doesn't. In Zambia it makes people fatter. That's why they're like, ah, 
I said I was looking at the prison. He was with some people. He said, ah, ah. I couldn't even recognize him. So, Mukosh, they are eating. They are enjoying themselves. Uh, Rodo said, oh, when I'm a wolf, I've lived in UK, in UK 20 years. You can't tell me. Even hospitals here alone, hospital alone, you can even go and eat food there. I've been to Levi Manawaso Hospital. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? If you go, smelling of, I don't even know the smell that is there. No proper sanitation and you want to compare. A cleaner in UK is paid 12 pounds an hour. A cleaner in Zambia is paid how much? You will find that maybe it's just one cleaner the whole block. Nurses, punch, Civil servant is not being paid money, salary. And we should be happy that uh, no, ah, no, ah, PF, they left the economy very bad. Madam Sylvia Marcel, there is a scandal with the Ministry of Health. First, first, she's reshuffled to another place. The same people who are eating since MMD, they are eating now. In <laughs> what? So that's why this whole politics of Zambia is rubbish. It's a rubbish. People have been eating since 19 Pendofcon. Even today they are eating. Desperation. I so they're saying it's true hospitals in Zambia. I couldn't believe it. I would rather even go to mom's clinic, those to my clinics. These private clinics in Zambia, they are nice and clean. Ha! Huh? We had somebody at Levi Mono. I couldn't believe it. What is this smell? Aya! Flies everywhere. Ah, ah. That's why when their own people are sick, when uh, Dr. Kambudu was sick, they exported him to, 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 to uh, South Africa. Somebody is celebrating. Hey, hey, hey. Opening of KCM mine and what, what, what oh, are you a beneficiary for you to be celebrating? Ah, what are you celebrating? The beneficiaries should be the one be celebrating because their family members have been given shares. Companies have been open. You, you are benefiting where? Eh? <laughs> There's a lot I know. I just look at people. Say, look at this. The poverty bracket is among the young people. And you same young people. They will use you in 2026. And you'll be there fighting A, B, C, D. Whilst their children are graduating at schools abroad. I have never seen any of these people that are telling, you know, help me. Let's, I've never seen their children graduate at Unza. All of them is in South Africa. South Africa. If not England. England. I am yet to see a, 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 a true patriotic Zambian. That wants to be a leader or is a leader that their child graduated in Zambia. I am yet to see. So who are you to blame me for going abroad? Who are you for blaming other Zambians for going abroad or other Africans for going abroad? They are abroad because them too, they want their children to have better education. I've just given you an example of my own daughter. She'll be getting free lunch, free transport, free fee. I don't even know how it feels to pay school fees since they've been in this country since they were born here. I don't even know how it feels. The government has catered for all that. It's not free education that there's 300 people in the class. Say, ha, ha, ha. There's free education. Ah, uh -uh. 30 people in a class. Free education. Here. Maximum, maybe 40. But minimum, 20. They even divide classes into four or five classes. They don't overcrowd them. I went to the school. The school of arts. I didn't even share the video. I don't share such. I, sh I, I said, ah, how I wish Zambia can do these things. They're even telling you, so if you want to come here, just let us know. You know. There's nothing like, how much are you going to pay deposit? Nothing like that. It's the government paying for their people. So if you don't want to go to school, you want to be a junkie in UK, then you just want to be a junkie. 
Nothing like that. There is too much illiteracy in Zambia among the young people. Hey, hey, yeah, the reason why this person is now the aide to the, this is because the person is educated. No, it's because there is no free education up to university level for you to go to school. Like in the Kaunda days, me, my father was from a poor family. He was from a humble background. But Kaunda took him to school. That's why I loved that man. Who ever seen me say anything about President Kaunda? He made it possible for some of us to be here where we are now. President Kaunda offered my dad those days to be a mathematics teacher at Unza. He started free. Then they put a newspaper article that they wanted pilots. My father applied. He got it and he came to the UK in Southampton free. Many of you young people have dreams in Zambia to be pilots, to be what? Now the, the dream is not, it, it, it's, it's impossible unless you are a prayer warrior. Somebody is saying, imagine free education. We even pay for extra lessons so that children don't turn out to be fickle. But yeah. I've never even known what it feels to pay extra lessons. The children, they will send you every month report. And in this country, they even print the report on it. I said, ah, these people, they are wasting paper. All this print on a nice headed paper with logo in color, envelope. They even send to you results. I said, ah. Just the school here in this area where we are, there's a very nice school, secondary school where the, the girls go because I had to move the other one. And it was a struggle because she was like, no, I want to be with my friends. I had to convince her. I said, please move to this school. That's how come she's got the very good GCSE results. The school alone had extra. Is it more than 2.5 million pounds extra? <laughs> hey, Jesus. As a change, they were now looking to what should we do? They even asked, what should we do with the money? Every year, the government pays for each child to go to us. The government, £2,000 per term for a child, one child. The government is paying. And it's a school of 600 children, calculate. Government schools. Look at our Muzala. He went to run. This guy should be more than 20 people running with him from Zambia. The sports, they are not supported. For, it's only football. But running things, gymnastics, swimming, we only see people who went to international school. But ha, ha, look, our Zambian is running, is swimming. But these are things in this country. A child starts swimming from four years old. The government has put children go to public swimming pools. They learn how to swim. All my children know how to swim except me. I don't know how to swim. Swimming is also another skill that Zambians can be also making money. Swimming, bicycles, injinga, chofe injinga, gymnastics, running, really. We only had our, our guy there. The only Zambian that I saw. Go and see Jamaica. I was in Jamaica. And Jamaica, every year they have sports, inter-school sports, in a big stadium. That is how when our Usain Bolt came about. Kenya is even beating us. Even Botswana. Botswana had, go and see how their winner was welcomed in Botswana. 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 But the old ones, they are busy eating and getting fat. Whilst the young people, your only talent is on Facebook to be a cutter. On Facebook to be a supporter. And then when things are so tough, Atawe, Uriari, Kurika, no. Nobody is doing that. Somebody is behind that. Even leaders have also supported the education of some youth here. Even other leaders, I don't know what you're talking about. I know a certain president's daughter lives in Canada, came on a government bursary. Yeah. <laughs> The daughter is in Canada. Came on government's bazaar. There's even scholarships for Russia. Those, yeah, if it's those ones, Russian scholarships, they are very political. For you to even get that. Yeah. 
You must know somebody to know somebody to know somebody. So the young people know ambitions. Dreams cut short. The promises. You shall be this. You shall. Nothing. Now it's no. Do you know what this person did? Do you know what this person did? Every day, do you know what this person did? We are tired. That's why we don't even have time. Because, because for me, I'm one person. I don't like seeing other people struggle or suffer. And that's why when you, even there's, there was that UK opportunity, I would be telling you people about the opportunities that are here. Now that door is closed, the very same people who work with the current will be saying, hey, look, it's a lie, it's a lie. Why? Because they want you to keep on suffering. Now, I keep opportunities private. I don't even share on social media. Because I don't want somebody to make a call, to spoil things for people. Right now, there's an opportunity we are working on. Very, I, I don't even talk about it. I don't share. Because I don't want evil people, very evil people, to start calling. Last time I shared, I said, oh, this company is re it recruits international people, blah, 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 blah. The same people called to say, is it true that you are working with Lilian Mutambo? I said, uh-uh. So me, I stopped. I don't share. But very soon you will see me at one of the airports who will come in people. And that is when I will say, do you remember that day I did the live stream? This is it. I stopped. What you don't know, they no go kill. Because already they have killed your dreams in Zambia. They now even want to kill the dreams of us hearing say there's this opportunity. Ah. Meanwhile, if you can find yourself in Canada, if you can get yourself Canada visa, after you get it, let me know. Canada is a great place to be right now. Canada. Canada Ngongongo. I even have their visa. Huh? So they're saying, true mama, some things are better kept secret. Honestly. People even googling, searching, companies calling. Hey, is it true? What? Spirit of poverty. So I, I stopped. So it looks like uh, nothing is happening. Ah, we, <laughs> we are doing things quietly now. We stopped. We stopped. Tondolo Musuma. Kale. We stopped. Why should I risk my life for people? And then tomorrow, they'll be the same one laughing. <laughs> we knew. <laughs> I don't have time. How are you, Mundi? I used to say, I said, this opportunity for UK, it will close very soon. But if you know a radiographer, you know a radiographer, Tell them that in the UK now, they want radiographers. If you know any radiographer, they can Google, search for the NHS. There's jobs for radiographer. The UK is looking for radiographers. Yeah, since the x-ray machines died in Zambia, I think. I don't know if there's only one. They need radiographers in the UK. That's the only tip I can tell you about that one. There's an opportunity for radiographer to work for the UK government, not me. The government before tomorrow, you say Lilian is recruiting. No, I'm not recruiting. No, the government is looking for radiographers. Natasha says Zambians are good at killing others, they find joy in doing that. Oh, yes, that's why I like America, especially Zambians in UK. That's why I like America. America, for you to know what Natasha is doing, then you, you, you don't have anything to do because America is busy, they work by the, <laughs> every hour is important, it's the dollar. Every, people are making $2,000 a week in America, a week. So what time will they have to come on Facebook and say, Mundia, that day, you say you have company, they, 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 they don't have time. If somebody is earning $2,000 a week, what time will they have to come and talk about Mavis? What time will they come? They are driving big, big, big cars in America. I was, the time when I went the first time, I went just to visit. Yeah. Now this time when I went for the funeral, and people were coming and we know each yeah, yeah, yeah. What cars don't they drive? Jeep, Jiwago, what, what, Range Rover. They are all doing very well. And they even push each other. Ah, Bernard. 
equal to opportunity. They even call each other. They even have groups where they share opportunities. I mean, the ones in UK, they are, they, they are like witches. I think because UK is near Zambia. They are like witches. They will come there, be busy talking about, even the people in America are like, we like what you do. You tell people about opportunities. Huh? Well, we like what you do. Apostle in America, people are getting $2,000 a week. They will come on Facebook and be so great. <laughs> which part of the thing are they going to be doing on Facebook when they are busy building houses in Zambia quietly? One lady I met, she does, she's not even on Facebook. But she knows. I said, ah, what's your name on Facebook? She said, eh? The job I have, I don't even want to be on Facebook before somebody will go and lie against me. Yeah, before someone in Africa will call to say, hey, this one is working for your car. She drives the car alone. I said, people are really doing well. That's why, no wonder Beatrice was, the last time she said, you've only been in the U.S. two years. And you think you are, people in America, they live well. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so guys, the Bible tells us in Psalm 55, verse 22, that cast your burdens on the Lord and he will sustain you. He shall permit you, the righteous, to be moved. So the moral of the story is we should be more prayerful. And Apostle Chilolo, what we were talking about is we've been sharing that there's a lot of cases of young people that they claim are unaliving themselves. Uh, and according to uh, what I just feel deeply in my spirit is that these people are actually being it's got nothing to do with the and we have to be in a place of prayer and be prayerful and we shouldn't just accept to say our way it's no more our yeah apostle says america is really blessed oh, sh when, <laughs> when they say that america is a is a what um dream country it's true america is you know like kuno kuma europe kuno when you are even stopped by police they will ask hey, you paper in america they don't do that they just stop you as how are you sir how are you mom they just ask you do you have your license it ends there as to what paper you have what they don't care but here they'll first go immigration to find out okay i'm with you this mutambo here what's our immigration status before they can release you in my Europe, movie, people move with ID cards. In America, nobody just cared, cares about that. Anyway, guys, it's a girl, Little Matams, also known as Girl Posey said. We've spoken a little bit because I have to prepare for, in about 15 minutes, yeah, we start prayers with Pastor Jerry Eze. Please do not miss out on the prayers. People are testifying, and that's your only hope. Uh, yeah. Natasha says that America is a land of opportunity. Ah, go and see how many Mexicans, 30,000 Mexicans are entering America daily. Whilst you, they're telling you, <laughs> papi, mafi. In America, even picking a plastic is money. <laughs> that place. <laughs> the ones who say, no, America is not nice. It's because they can't collect visa. A visa is not easy, but when you get it, grab it. Okay, so guys, we're about to start to pray with Pastor Jerry. It's a girl, little times. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, remember that we have to consistently be in prayer and remember our country, Zambia. Uh, what is happening is not normal, you understand? And we can't just ignore and say, oh, no, it's, it, people are doing this to themselves. They are not. It's actually some bullish. Uh, and I hope, guys, uh, you are following the series on my Facebook page, The Kubala Kingdom. Watch it, you see that Ubulo. You know, sometimes when we see that Ubulo Shekubuaba, I want to mark it, ah, fiabu fifiye. But when you see actually people like Kubala people doing it, uh, learn from it by watching. Thank you so much, guys. I love you. So, First Peter 5, verse 7 says, Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. So, God cares for you. And that's all I can say. Forget about any leader caring for you. No leader cares about you. They don't, they don't, they don't give a, a hoot about you. They don't care. But God cares about you. Okay? 
I'm, sometimes I even get surprised when I see certain leaders, even with the president. I say, ah, this man was saying this about the president. What is this person doing now with the president? So everybody is after their belly. Nobody cares for you. So, but God cares for you. It's a girl in the motel.